Hi guys, welcome to the Sunday show. This is Rohan and our topic for today is what you don't know when you sign up for financial aid. These days, we have an ever increasing number of students signing up for financial aid with increasing tuition fees and hostel fees and the like. And today we are going to be focusing on just this. So we have with us today Nabil, our NUS student reporter and Crystal, our NUS student. So, Navi, why don't you take us through what we don't know about financial aid? Okay, before I answer that, right, uh, can I just ask Crystal, what do you think is a typical student loan like? Oh, as far as I know, let's say a student will borrow money for about 22000 from a bank, then later he or she needs to pay about $100 per month for the next 20 years. Okay, so this is exactly what I was talking about that the $100 that you mentioned, that would be the minimum payment amount. That's the minimum that you pay every month. Okay, that yeah. means in the, in the coming months, I'm going to pay more? It's possible, right. and because, because uh, for over 20 years, okay. $21,000, you can yeah. pay it off in $100 a month, but that, if, that is only if you don't pay interest. Oh. If, you, if you calculate interest, then it will go up to as much as $18,000 extra on top of $21,000. So, so what I'm trying to get is that uh, we are told by the marketing that we pay off like $21,000 in 20 years, right? But we are actually going to be paying almost like double of $21,000. That's, that's, that's correct. So guys, this is not only applicable to NUS students or NUS loans. I mean, everybody takes loans from car loans to house loans to every kind of loan. And this is exactly what can be applicable to them. So, Nabil, we have thousands of people signing up for loans as we speak. What would your message be to them? My message to them would be to think, to read the fine print, and to calculate in terms of numbers, exact figures, with maybe estimated interest rates, about how much amount they'd be expected to pay in reality, and not just something that's uh, a hearsay or a marketing gimmick. Guys, that's exactly the message. So basically, don't fall for the pretty marketing, but instead do take a deeper look and read the fine print. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a detailed report on financial aid. We take NUS as, as an example. You can find it on nuslife.wordpress.com. Uh, do check it out and give us your feedback. That's great. Thank you, Nabil, and thank you, Crystal, for joining us today. And thank you all for tuning in as well. The message from us, let's all try to read the fine print and not just fall for the pretty marketing. Until next Sunday, goodbye.